Welcome back to Animal Wonders. I've got some new little faces to introduce you to, and I'm going to try something new with them on camera for the first time. We currently have 85 animals in our care, and that's counting our colony of rats and flock of pigeons and chickens as one apiece. It's a lot of animals. For me, that just means there's a whole lot of love to be shared. When we can, we rescue medium exotic animals, like our foxes, porcupines, and cavi. But we also take in the small ones too, like parrots, hedgehogs, and lizards. A year ago, we were contacted by someone who had taken in two foster animals that were abandoned in an apartment. After a year of no success finding them a home, she turned to Animal Wonders. At the time, we had no available space, but I let her know we were in the process of building an expansion. 10 days ago, she emailed me again and asked if we could take them in, and I said yes. So here we are at their enclosure. We've only had them a little over a week, but they've settled in nicely. We've kept them in their same setup so they wouldn't be too disrupted by the move. This is Ping Pong, and I think I woke him up because I was talking right next to him. Before they wake up too much more, I wanna try something I haven't tried before. I wanna see if they'll climb out onto me. I don't know these guys very well yet, and their reaction and behavior during this interaction will help me to assess where they're at and how we move forward from here. So what I'm gonna do is see if, come right out onto me, here you go, bud. Yeah, there you go, here's Ping Pong again. Let's see if he wants to eat a treat. He doesn't even know it's a treat. Do you smell your house? I guess I smell my house, here. You like that treat? Here, how about a mealworm? You've been liking the mealworms. Here. <laughs> oh, buddy, you need a nail trim. There he goes. I know. Go on up there. And here's your pouch. Look, 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 look. Hi. Here. Pouch. Yeah. There you go. All right, that's not too bad. That's not too bad, that was, that was ping pong. He wasn't super scared. He's just like, I'm not really sure what you want me to do. What do you think? How about you jump back to your home? That's gonna be a more productive thing, ready? Wanna go do that? There you go. Hey, nice jump. Nicely done. All right guys, you ready with Boomerang? Let's see if he'll take a treat. Oh, he did, look. Great. Good job, buddy. All right, I really wanna try and make sure they find this rewarding. So having him already eating while he's out is great. These guys are nocturnal, so having them wake up at, in, you know, in the middle of the day, I wanna make sure it's, it's worth it for them. Wake up, have a little midnight snack, and then they get to go back to sleep. Good job, buddy. It's really promising that he's not trying to bite my fingers or run away from me. Look how calm he is, this is amazing. What I'm really hoping is that they'll come out onto me, eat some treats, and then go right back into their pouch. That would be perfect. I can't, I can't do much with you on my back, bud. Come here. Come here. How about jump to your, you wanna jump to your cage too? There you go. There you go. Good job, bud. All right, I'm gonna tie their pouch back up. They've gone into their other little sleepy place. All right, well, that's how it went. I actually went a lot better than I thought it was going to. I thought they were going to be trying to run off me a lot. And Ping Pong definitely was, he was jumping off of me, but it wasn't in like a, a panicked manner. It was more like, eh, I'm a little uncomfortable on you and I wanna go somewhere else. But he did come back to me and he, didn't, he never tried to bite um, and he didn't do his little growly thing at me during the whole process. So I don't know, I'm pretty happy with that. Okay, I have another new face that I'd like everyone to meet. Prepare yourself, because he's a cutie. This is Hazel. He's a Netherland dwarf rabbit, and he's not quite six months old. Those of you that have been with us a while might know Cheeks, our other rabbit. Don't worry, he's still with us, but he's getting old and he's completely retired from our public presentation. Hazel is our new little bun who is learning to be an ambassador and teach what makes rabbits so amazing. It's really incredible how a familiar animal, like a rabbit, can reach our youngest audiences and teach them the basics of how adaptations help animals survive. Hazel is such a 
calm soul. We've had him for about three weeks and he's doing great. His previous owner said that he managed to escape and spent a month outside before making his way back home. He's a little small and that's most likely because he was fending for himself for such a long period of his short life. But he's doing good and eating well and I'm just so happy to know him. I love being able to rescue new animals and get to know them, but I'm feeling the need to go and give some love to my old friends too. Here he is. This is my old guy Cheeks and he's been really enjoying his quiet time. He's mostly been lounging comfortably and getting full body massages. He is pretty amazing. Thanks for letting me share a few of the new faces we have at Animal Wonders. If you'd like to meet more of our animals, subscribe to our channel Animal Wonders Montana and join me and the animals every Thursday. If you'd like to send the animals some of your love, head on over to our Amazon wish list and pick out some toys, food, or other supplies that help us continue to give them a happy and healthy life. Thanks guys. Thank you.